Good morning, YouTubers. I didn't show the screw getting screwed in because I didn't think it would actually work. This is the Ken Onion Work Sharp, and the plastic broke off and the screw went, I don't know where, Hussein lost it somewhere, but I, I went to the hardware spent, store, spent 20 minutes looking for a screw that would almost fit, or and that's all I could come up with. I couldn't find the exact fit. So what I did, I got this resting on a chunk of paper and a, my glass case. I put the vice grips on here so it wouldn't turn and, and slowly got the screw in there. And I put a drop of super glue in. Now we're on to the next phase of the operation, but just just to see how straight that actually went in wasn't too bad. I was I surprised myself. No wobble. So we could either put a bunch of tape on that or we're going with a all-purpose all-American fixer. JB Weld. But I want to clean the surface up a little bit, so I just give it a little shot of ether here. wipe it real good to get if there's any oil or compound on there whatever finger grease knife oil let me plug that back in here all right on the phase two Yeah, there's MacGyver engineering with making a, a ballpoint pen into all kinds of weapons and duct tape, and then there's bungo engineering. So, we're going to mix up the JB Weld. Equal parts. That's more than I, more than I put on my toothbrush. My dad taught me the, the mixing technique with with uh, Bondo because we had some rusty vehicles in our today. Now you get either a spatula or a flat stick, but what he did he. He, he went back and forth like this, like you're mixing it together, keep spreading the peanut butter in. And you want to get a uniform color. You want that, that gray all over the place. I would say that's about right. That's about good enough. And we'll use the same butter knife for the application phase here. And I want to get it on the shaft. But my thinking is, doesn't matter how thick it is on the shaft, but if I could, if I can get it running and then apply a file to it, I can make a, a reasonable cylindrical surface that will hold, that will hold the belt on. And if that's not smooth enough, I could grind it down with the file a little bit more and then go over with Taki tape. But we'll see. This stuff is kind of flowing downhill. I don't want to get it I don't want to get it glued together. That'll defeat my purpose. Ah. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. So it's a matter of using your artistic ability here. Or turning the screw. Ooh, there's a nice big glob. Yeah, this is gonna go all over the place, it looks like. Well, we'll let that big gob on there and let it dry. Cause like, it's made for gluing stuff together, not. Yeah, if this junk was a little bit thicker, it'd be more more purposeful maybe I'll get the hockey tape now since I got a big enough glob in there If I could kind of shape the JB with hold it in place with hockey tape, I may have a winner here. Yeah, this stuff is starting to thicken up a little bit. All right, let's let's wrap it up and see what it looks like. I, gotta, I think I gotta shorten that tape down. It's too wide. I'll start squeezing it from the bottom of the shaft and try and push that JB up the shaft. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Crap, that almost looks like I know what I'm doing. And we'll let that sleeping dog lie and dry. God bless the repair guys that know what they're doing. <laughs>